Well, I would say number one, the most important thing is to be reliable. That's not really a, a, a skill, but uh, rather it's kind of an ethic uh, requirement. But uh, it's really important for the students to become reliable in international dispute resolution. In particular, when they are facing clients uh, far away from them, they need to be reliable. And the second one is that they have a global vision so that they can understand the different culture and that at least that they will respect the different culture and the legal practice. So uh, these are two uh, main issues, I would say, uh, for the students to consider and uh, at least that they need to learn that. Well, in the North Asia, the uh, jurisdictions uh, diversified a lot. Uh, some of them are quite developed in arbitration. Some of them are quite, uh, you know, less developed. So ICC is helping the legal community to become uh, more capable dealing with arbitration. For example, in uh, Mongolia, we have helped Mongolia to set up its own legislation of arbitration. A similar thing has been done in laws and also in Vietnam. Vietnam, for example, we have agreed with the Vietnam National Judicial Academy to provide them with arbitration courses to all the legal professionals in Vietnam. But in China, uh, Japan and Korea, these uh, countries with uh, more arbitration traditions are trying to help the legal professionals to get more international exposure in international arbitration community. But for uh, Singapore and Hong Kong, which are quite famous for international arbitration, we have already set up our secretariat uh, offices over there so that uh, people can make good use of their legal system, uh, which are very friendly to arbitration. Well, number one opportunity apparently will be the internships. Uh, we have uh, offices in Paris, New York, uh, uh, as well as Singapore and Hong Kong. We are offering internship opportunities to students uh, who can learn the practice of arbitration uh, from an insightful position. And number two, we are also offering uh, training courses, including those uh, for them to learn to be uh, arbitration lawyers, arbitrators in the future. So uh, this pretty much at this moment we are offering, but also we are offering uh, these, uh, those ad hoc trainings to the younger lawyers and the students together with the Bar Association and the law, uh, law schools. For example, ICC has a Young Arbitrators Forum, which is a, an organization for global or international arbitration uh, students and uh, young lawyers. We organize uh, more than 300 events every year globally. <laughs> so uh, these opportunities are open to the young students for them to get used to the international arbitration.